So this is um, help for Reflecting Shapes homework. If you've had a look and you're struggling a little bit, just didn't quite understand something. So I'll go through how to do it, have a got answer in it, and you'll see the sorts of things that are expected of you. And when you do it yourself, you'll find that uh, the questions will be slightly different. So I'll show you how to do it, but I won't just be giving you all the answers, okay? So. Each diagram shows a shape being reflected from position A to position B into the equation for each line of reflection. So um, you can find where the mirror line is by just figuring out where the middle is. So these are four squares apart, so the middle would be two squares apart. So it's going to be this line here. Now this line is called the y-axis, but because it wants the equation, not just the name for the line, we've got to remember that this line's got another name. So it cuts through the x-axis at 0, so it is x equals 0. Time. So you can see hopefully that it's this line here, if these are two apart halfway, was the x-axis, but that's got another name. It's a line that's cutting through the y-axis at 0, so it's y equals 0. And we've got one more here. Hopefully you can see that it's this line here in the middle because it's halfway between them two squares apart so one square apart will be where that line goes and this line here it cuts to the y-axis at minus two so it's y equals minus two good we've got those right uh, then on to the next one so this one is um, diagonal reflection so this one would be your y equals x line and this would be your y equals minus x line. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to drag the point, and I'm going to be counting to the mirror line diagonally, and then counting on the same amount. I'm going to do it for each corner. So here, one, two, three squares diagonally. So another one, two, three squares diagonally. And do the same with b. So b is one, two squares away diagonally, so another one, two squares away diagonally, and C, well, it's just half a square away, so another half a square away. So there's a triangle. Looks a little bit different, doesn't it? But the diagonal ones often do. Just follow the process and trust in your answers. Uh, let's do the same here. So E, it's one, two, three and a half away, so half, one and a half, two and a half, Three and a half away is there. F is half away, so another half away. And G is one and a half away, so a half, one and a half away. So we check those. And yep, yeah, we've got it all right. Okay, so hopefully that's helped. And if it hasn't, just ask in the chat for some extra help. Okay, there you go.